Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML and CSS interview question answer series. Today's question is what is the difference between class selector and ID selector? If you are attending a front end engineering role or a design or a junior web developer role, this question is the most asked question. So make sure you understand and you are able to answer it thoroughly in your interview. So let's see the answer with some practical examples also. So the difference between a class selector and ID selector is a class selector an overall block is given a class name, right? So whatever element or block that you give, you will give an entire name of class selector to it. Whereas ID selector is only given to a particular element, to single element. There can be no, no two elements with the same name. Remember, same ID. It's wrong. It will give you console error. So a class selector is nothing but you can give an overall block to a class selector, whereas ID should be only one single element. Let me show you that with some hands-on example. So this is a block. I'm giving a class C1, right? Now it can have a paragraph, it can have an image, it can have an input, anything, right? Whereas IDs we give usually for a single element. It can be any element, right? But it should be unique, right? Now you see I'm giving C1. It will apply to both input and para input and it will style it. Let me show you. Or even better, let me show you with this with an option. I'll cut it here and I will have a P tag. I'll give a same class name. So see, I can use it. The same class can be used multiple times also in the file, in the, in the HTML, but ID cannot be. Right? So that's the main difference. Right? Now I've given class name. Now let's see this in action. So see, wherever there is class C1, it has applied the background color. Right? That means you can apply the class name to multiple elements in the page. Right? That's the beauty of it, so that you don't have to rewrite. You can reuse it, right? And whereas with ID, you can only give one, right? You can only give um, only one element and that applies to, the style will be applied to only that element. Let me show you that. So with ID, we'll write hash P1. Now I'm going to give background hyphen color. Let's say we give dark cyan. Now go and refresh. Now you see it has applied the dark cyan background, but I cannot use this ID again to some other element. It will be error. You'll see errors in your console because most JavaScript frameworks or even for that matter, JavaScript itself will not allow you to work with two IDs on the same element, right? So always remember classes, you can use it multiple times whereas ID should be unique to that element. All right. I hope it's clear to you and you will be able to answer that in your interviews when you're asked. Let me know if you have any doubts or queries. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode. I'll bring you more interactive questions to help you prepare for your interviews. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.